In this video, we are going to convert these images to this video. Welcome to the second video in our captivating series, Experiments with ChatGPT Code Interpreter. Today, we'll explore how we can use Code Interpreter in Midjourney to create a zoom out video using a sequence of images. Let's dive right in. Let's start the process by creating the initial image using Midjourney. Use the Imagine command with the prompt, a little girl walking through a forest. Let's wait for the images. Now, we have four images generated for our prompt. We have to select one of these and upscale using upscale buttons. I am going to upscale the third image using U3 button. Now, we have the first image upscaled. I am going to use, zoom out 1.5x button to zoom out the first image. While it's being generated, I'm going to save the first upscaled image. This will be the starting point of our video. I am saving it as g1.png, as we need a sequential naming structure. Now, we have the next set of images to create our second image. This time, I am upscaling the first image. This will be the second image of our video. Again click zoom out 1.5x button to zoom out. Meantime, save the previous image as g2.png. Now, we have to repeat the process again by upscaling. Let's summarize the process. Step 1. Upscale one of the four images generated by Midjourney. Step 2. Click on Zoom Out 1.5x button to zoom out and create another set of zoomed out images. Step 3. Save the upscaled image from Step 1 with sequential naming convention. Repeat the process using the four images generated from Step 2. Here, we have six images created using the Zoom Out feature. You can create any number of images. For the purpose of this video, we are going to limit it to 6. Now, we have completed the first part of generating images with Midjourney. Let's try to convert them into a video using ChatGPT Code Interpreter. Let's create a zip file with the 6 images we created. Code Interpreter only accepts single file upload. So, we have to use a zip file to work with multiple files. Let's start by enabling Code Interpreter in GPT-4 tab. Then, Upload the zip file with 6 images. Now, we are going to use simple prompt in natural language, and check if the code interpreter is able to generate a video. Here is the prompt. The zip file has 6 images, named in the sequence from g1.png to g6.png. g1.png is the first image. Other images are created by zooming out the previous image, by 1.5 times. Create a video starting from g1.png and zooming out till g6.png. Make sure to run the transition smoothly. Let's execute the prompt and wait for code interpreter to do its magic. It breaks the task into multiple steps, and starts executing them. You can check the Python code to see what's happening within the code interpreter. This time, it wants some answers for questions regarding the video. Let's say we want 30 frames per second. It starts the process again based on our input. It completed the task in less than a minute, and the video is ready to download. Let's play the video. As you can see, we have a video with zooming out effect for the six images we created. However, zooming out is not smooth within the image. Also, when image changes, there is a slight pause. Let's see if we can improve the video with more detailed prompt containing technical values. While doing research for this experiment, I came across a tweet from a person called Minchoy who has experimented with same effect. He is using much more technical prompt, compared to the simple natural language prompt we used. Let's take a look at his prompt. This zip file contains series of images, simulating zoomed in shot to a zoomed out shot, 
six images sequenced from g1.png to g6.png. Using matplotlib for sort. Using OpenCV library, turn this image into a 30 fps 6 seconds video. Start with zoomed in on center, zoom factor of 1.5, of g1.png, then slowly zooming out using zoom factor of 0.02, until zoom factor of 1.0 is achieved. Repeat for each next image in the same manner in the sequence. Write each frame to the video as they are generated to avoid memory issues. Output format should be MP4 slash move for web. Maintain original resolution. Let's execute this prompt for the same zip file. Make sure to try it in a new chat to avoid conflicts with previous process. Now, the process has started again with a new prompt. Code interpreter gives explanations on how the process is handled. After execution of several tasks, now we have the video ready to download. Let's open the video and see if the result is better than our first video. As you can see, this video is a lot better than the one we first created. Due to the settings, this video runs longer with smooth transition. However, there is still minor issue when the image changes from one to another. The reason is we zoomed images to 1.5x. The creator of this prompt has used 1.25x zoom level. So, we might have to adjust the parameters to match 1.5x zoom level. Let's try to understand the difference in this prompt. I have highlighted the key components of the prompt. The author specifically asks to use matplotlib and OpenCV libraries. So, the code interpreter has to use them instead of using a random process. Also, the prompt asks for 30 fps, 6 seconds video for each image. In our first prompt, it was not clear how long it should be zoomed out. Next, it asks to zoom in on center at zoom factor of 1.5. So, the code interpreter knows where to start. Next, it asks to zoom out with zoom factor of 0.02 until zoom factor of 1.0. So, it's clear how the zoom out should be implemented. Finally, it asks to write each frame to the video, and gives the output format and expected resolution. So, this prompt gives all the technical details, and specifies the process for creating video. Therefore, we get a better video compared to the first prompt. I have recreated the images at 1.25x zoom level and used this prompt. Here is the output at 1.25x zoom level. As you can see, now the zooming is very smooth even when changing from one image to another. Here, are some more zoom out videos generated by this technique. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.